Welcome to Hurry Up Pinball, the show where I teach you how to work on your pinball machine. Today I will show you how to install the LCD version of a color DMD on a WPC system. So grab your tools and let's get going. Here you can see the items that come with the color DMD kit. Before beginning this installation, unplug the pinball machine and make sure you have access to both sides of the pinball cabinet. Next, grab the back box keys and remove the trans light. Now lay a small towel or blanket across the pinball machine and then raise the speaker panel and place it face down on the towel. Make sure it does not slide off of the pinball machine. Go ahead and lift the locking bracket and open the back box light panel to gain access to the boards in the back box. On the stock DMD, unplug the connector as seen here. Now locate the under end of the connector you just removed from the DMD and unplug it from the board in the back box. This connector is located at J604 on the audio video board. Once both ends of the cable are unplugged, completely remove this cable from the back box as it is no longer needed. You may need to clip a few zip ties in order to remove the cable. Be very careful when clipping the zip ties so as not to nick the other cables. You may also need to unplug connectors in order to remove the old cable. Be sure to plug them back in once the old cable is removed. At this time, unplug the ribbon cable from the old DMD. We will be reusing this cable so you can leave it plugged into the audio video board in the back box. Now take your nut driver and remove the four nuts and washers holding on the stock DMD. Save all the hardware you remove, as you will need it for installing the color DMD. Remove the cardboard backing, and then remove the old DMD. After removing the old DMD, remove the black standoff posts and set them nearby as we will be reusing them. Use the white spacers provided with the color DMD and drop one white spacer on each post. With the white spacers in place, grab the color DMD, remove the protective film, and install the DMD as seen here. Before we install the rest of the hardware, we need to connect the ground wire included with the color DMD. Do not skip this step. Add the included ground wire to the post closest to the ground wire mounting location in the back box. Then add one spacer, a washer, and a nut. The spacer, washer, and nut were from the previously removed hardware. Now take the other end of the ground wire you just installed and connect it to the ground wire screw in the back box. You will need to remove the nut holding on the other ground wires to install the color DMD ground wire. With the ground wire installed, reinstall the nut and tighten it down. Here is how the ground wire should look when properly installed. For the remaining three posts on the speaker panel, add a black standoff to each, followed by one washer and a nut. Use your nut driver to tighten down each one. Next, grab the four pin color DMD power cable included with the kit and plug it in as seen here. Make sure you plug in the end that has one connector, not two in a row. This connector is keyed and can only be installed one way. Plug the other end of the new color DMD power cable into J116 on the WPC power driver board. If an existing cable is currently plugged into J116, disconnect it before connecting the color DMD power cable. I had a cable previously installed on J116, so I unplugged it and set it to the side. If you disconnected a cable from J116 in the previous step, use the included male-to-male -male adapter to reconnect this cable to the available center connector on the color DMD power cable. Otherwise, do not connect the male-to-male -male adapter and store it in a safe place. If you used the Z connector, here is how it should look once installed. Now use the existing wire looms to clean up the cable routing in the back box. Make sure to leave enough slack so you can lower the speaker panel in the future. 
Here you can see the existing ribbon cable that we will be plugging into the colored DMD. Plug the ribbon cable into the new colored DMD as seen here. The red stripe should be facing the side with the menu buttons. For this next step, we will be using the menu buttons located on the board on the back of the color DMD. At this time, plug in the pinball machine and turn it on. If everything is properly installed, you should see the standard animation start to pop up. Press the menu button on the back of the color DMD and cycle until you reach the screen that says mounting. Make sure it matches your system. For me, this was WPC. Next. Cycle to the vertical adjustment setting and use the up and down buttons to center the lines as seen here. Be sure to save the settings before exiting. With the system setting and vertical adjustment on the Color DMD done, head over to the Color DMD website. Click ROMs for new displays, navigate down to your game, and download the most recent version of the ROM. Insert a USB stick into your computer and make sure it is completely empty. You can also right click on the USB drive in your file directory and format it. Please be aware that this will erase all info on the USB stick. With the USB stick formatted, copy and paste the ROM you downloaded onto the USB drive. Make sure there are no other files on the USB stick, only the ROM file for your game. Go ahead and eject the USB drive at this time. Now plug the USB stick containing your game ROM into the USB slot on the back of the color DMD. Press and hold the USB button on the back of the color DMD. The program LED will flash five times. Release the button when the program LED remains lit. The file transfer will take about 30 seconds and the done LED on the board will be lit when the install has finished. Once the install has finished, Go ahead and remove the USB stick from the color DMD. With the ROM file installed, close the back box light panel and then reinstall the speaker panel. Please note that anytime you need to open the light panel in the back box, you will need to lower the speaker panel due to the increased height of the color DMD monitor. With the speaker panel back in place, reinstall the trans light and then place the back box keys back inside the coin door. Here you can see how the color DMD looks when installed and working properly. Be sure to play a few test games to double check your work. This is Craig with Hurry Up Pinball and I wanted to say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, show your support for Hurry Up Pinball and click the subscribe button. We can also be found on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram under Hurry Up Pinball.